There's no energy in it, so you can calm down. Are you sure? <laughs> what are you doing? You haven't opened the vlog, Mindy? I have not. Hello and good afternoon, I guess. <laughs> Hello and good morning afternoon at this point. Just said to Brand, I says, well, have you opened the video for today? And he goes, no. I never do, nobody likes me to open. And he goes, you seriously have it? And I said, no. So anyways, hello, good morning, welcome back. Brandon is trying on- I'm trying to re-vacuum seal this coat that doesn't fit. Honey, just put your lips around it and just suck on it. <laughs> so you guys, we are going to some colder climates than we currently have right here in our neighborhood. Kind of got us thinking about our snow clothes inventory. Is this the big spring break reveal? Going to colder climates that need winter coats? <laughs> Okay. Not oh, even. Alaska. Canada. Brandon bought a coat off of Amazon. Turns out he's so tall, and not as wide as he is tall. Oh, that man, who would have guessed? <laughs> <laughs> the coat he bought is too big, so now we have to return it. This might be an unfamiliar thing that you're oh, seeing right stop. now. But are you kidding me? It's just. Kind of what, it's Wednesday? No, honey, those are legs. Remember, you don't do legs. Oh, yeah, I don't <laughs> Brandon's going to the gym. <laughs> what is even if happening? I can find it. Have they moved it since I last went? <laughs> it was there last year. I don't know. Brandon hasn't been to the gym since last year. Since okay. he, uh, have spring break coming up. Since he uh, hurt the... Yeah. 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 It's bad, Mindy, and it hurts worse than ever. But you know what? You gotta just suck it up sometimes <laughs> when you got spring break on the line. Yeah. Well, I've had two Reese's hearts today. Not doing so well. Those Speaking haircuts. of the gym, oh, so good. my they're shoulders so and arms sweet. are very tired from yesterday, so I know, I know. You guys, let's see if Brandon can go to the gym, get sore, work on that. Mmm, man, that doesn't look good. I'll go work on it. <laughs> Just got back from the gym and I do have to admit it is true. I have not been since July, you guys. If you recall, July 4th, I wrecked on the one wheel. Knocked my collarbone out of my shoulder. Dad, what happened? I broke my collarbone. In fact, it still sticks up, looks really funny, and feels really weird. Whoa. Sometimes it's harder if you see it. But the hardest part is when I tried to go back to the gym, I was just so weak and incapable and so far behind. It was like this constant reminder of how far I had to go to get back where I once was. So it was kind of tough to go back. So I went back today. I'll tell you, it was difficult. It was hard because it was, again, another reminder of how much more work has to be done to get back to where things were back in July before that accident. But it's certainly not going to get into an any better situation by not taking care of it by not going to the gym. So in that sense, it was good to be back, but it is going to be a long road rehabbing this thing because I really haven't been doing much besides playing virtual reality. <laughs> get it back to its original shape, but with spring break on the horizon, time to get serious about getting my physical fitness back into shape. If you've been here for a while, you know that probably every year I fluctuate about 20 pounds. Summer, get in peak condition, or at least I try to, then it slowly devolves into the holidays and then come the new year, put on about 20 pounds that I then need to work on getting rid of by the time it's time for spring break or summer. I am on the clock right now and ready to start taking it serious again. So in that sense, it was good to be back. And just for fun, on the way home, I grabbed myself a refreshing sports drink, a rejuvenating beverage. I'm going to try it out. Heard great things. Going to have the kids give it a try. Even mom's going to get it on the action. Tell you our favorite flavors, what we think about it, and what this drink is next. On my way home from the gym today, I wanted to get like, I don't know, like some something prime. That was Cruz's idea. <laughs> It sounds much dumber out loud, but I wanted to try out this new prime sports drink because if you've been paying attention It's all around the world. It is the hottest latest newest sports drink supposed to be taking over Gatorade at some point From what I've heard now, you guys may or may not know this, but this is Logan Paul's drink Are you guys allowed to watch Logan Paul? Sure. No. Sound like you said sure are he said sure aren't sure. definitely are not not necessarily for kids In fact, I would say most definitely not for kids But that doesn't mean the sports drink couldn't be a great drink oh. for kids families dads mom alike. So I thought I would go pick it up and try it out. But guess what guys? It's a pretty hot drink. I had to go to five different stores. I went to CVS's, Walmart's, Target's, gas stations, GNC's. Nobody had it. I went to one random grocery store down the road. They happened to have every single flavor. So I picked them all up. Grabbed every flavor they had, multiple bottles of each flavor so that we can try all of them. Because supposedly this is the latest, hottest, greatest drink. I thought it'd be kind of fun if we all tested them. We all pick a flavor, we all try it, and then we give it like our review, what we think of it. Do you guys want to do Oh, wow. So you guys are, so that leaves me with this one, okay? Tropical Punch? I like that one. It would have been cool if it was Island Punch. So glad you guys don't know what that is. Hold on, let's, let's, so we all picked our drinks. We all got our flavor. So which flavor is everybody going to take? Brexy, what do you got? Um, I have Blue Raspberry. I have watched a few videos, kind of seen the breakdowns, what people like the most. I don't want to spoil it, but people 
will say that one is by far the best. So you chose a good one. Crew, what'd you go with? None other than the lemon lime. The lemon lime prime green. <laughs> Okay. And then <laughs> Rye Guy, did you go with? I chose the orange. Orange. Okay, I love it. Orange. And then that leaves me with Tropical Punch, not Island Punch, Tropical Punch. Okay, so I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, I promise I'll stop. Okay, so let's swing the camera around so we can all try them together. Hang on a sec. So we're each gonna try our own flavor that we've grabbed here. It's kind of like a cheesy, like weird thing to notice, but from the get-go, I do love the packaging, the bright colors. I love the big, bold font. Obviously, these guys are marketing kings. They know what they're doing. And so they have crushed it with the labeling and the packaging. Just kind of draws your attention on the shelf, which is good because I couldn't find it anywhere. And so once I finally saw it, I got very excited. The other thing, and this is super cheesy, but Rye Guy's gonna appreciate this. I love the way that it feels. Yeah. It actually has that similar feeling to like when an iPhone case is brand new, like an Apple brand iPhone case is brand new. It's like that soft touch to it. Anyways, it just feels good. It's a really weird observation, but none of that matters. And it does if you're trying to sell them and you want to yeah. look good and everything like that. But all that matters is what does it taste like? How does it perform? So who wants to go first on the taste test? Me. me, me. Crew, you go first and work your uh, way down this way. You want to do uh, that? Okay, yeah, okay. Do that. Crew, up first. Lemon lime flavored prime drink. Going down. Go ahead and crack it open. This is supposed to be kind of like similar to a Gatorade. So just so that you know what you're getting into. It's not Smells carbonated or anything like that. Good. The sports drink, non-carbonated, lemon lime flavored. Be honest. Be real, dude. Whoa. That's real? actually really good. For real? Yeah. It, you can really like feel the light. Lime, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. That's a solid review. Whoa, this is really good. Okay, all right, dude. That's a phenomenal review. I told the kids, I'm like, be real. If you hate it, just like spit it out. I'm like, this is terrible. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if you like it, that's totally cool, dude. That's awesome. Okay, so lemon lime is a lemon win for crew. Win. And I feel like you usually get lemon lime flavored stuff. So it's like, you know your lemon lime. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. All right, right guy, you are up next with orange. Orange is one of my favorite flavors in other beverages. Let's see how it is. Yeah, that's actually really good. Really? Like, really, really good. Holy yeah. Count. It Guys, has so much flavor. I have to be honest. I kind of wondered when I watched these other people drink the drinks and they were like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm like, are you just like sucking up to Logan and KSI or do you like, really uh, like the drinks? But these kids don't even know who they are and they love the good. drink. Uh -huh. So that is a big endorsement, you guys. So loaded with flavor, super crazy good. And I've heard that this is the best flavor. We haven't even got to the best flavor yet. So Brexit, do you want to try the best yeah. flavor? <laughs> blue raspberry. And we know that Brexit loves blue. Going down. Going down. Here it comes. Prime blue raspberry. Brexit. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Brexton, I love you. If you guys know Brexton, that's about as big of a compliment as it gets because normally he just goes, it's good. When he goes, that's good, then you know it is next level good. Okay, so should I try my tropical punch? I haven't yeah. tried oh, that yet. Yeah. Okay. It's not an energy drink. It doesn't oh, have any energy. So that is something that's cool though. It's not an energy drink. There's no caffeine, I believe. It just has uh, electrolytes. Caffeine free, so that's good because we don't like our kids having caffeine because they got enough energy without having that. And then it looks like it's like low calorie. It's not like yeah. zero calorie, but it's low calorie, so that's good. One of the things that discourages me from getting a Gatorade is that I just hate having like a 200 calorie sports drink. So this is low calorie. Okay, I'm gonna try tropical crunch and uh, tropical. <laughs> Can't even say no. Let's pray. Let's pray. Heavenly farts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give Tropical Punch a try, but I will say this, this is gonna be a real test because this is my least favorite flavor. I actually don't like red drinks, I don't like Tropical Punch drinks. Oh gosh. So blue raspberry would have been my flavor of choice. I'm just literally <laughs> doing a booty shake behind the camera. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to deal with that. Okay, Prime, going down in three, two. It's <sighs> fantastic. It's absolutely you fantastic. Like? It is honestly fantastic. It tastes like candy melted down into a drink. Like I it know. is that it's level so of good. delicious. Put into a drink, low calorie. I'm not making this up. I'm not trying to fluff anything. It is fantastic. Like this is a delicious, delicious drink. I think between like what's in it, as far as like sports performance, the marketing of it, the awesome labeling, packaging, and then its taste and flavor. It's so good. I would say we give this one like four thumbs up. Like I think everybody mm -hmm. is thumbs up on this. 10 thing. out of 10, 100 percent. That's crazy. Yeah. Guys, it's legit that good and lives up to the hype. Guys, Hazy is back from dance. We have not got the female perspective yet. We don't have an adorable six-year-old girl's take on the prime sports drink. Hazy, would you like to try one of these? Yes. So far, your brothers love it. Which one do you want? Okay, going for the blue. What is it about the blue? Everybody loves that one. We're gonna crack it open. You need any help? Mom, you haven't tried it either yet. Which one do you want to try? Wanna try one? I'll try one. Which one would you think you How would have an interest in? Are in them? Are they They're like... only like 20, 25. They're low. I don't know. The hype's all about the blue, but I don't want to take the blue. Well, I actually got like five of those. Is this like neither. an actual red drink? Is it gonna make my mouth red? Yeah, I don't think so. Wait, Hazy girl, do you have a sip? Is it good? <laughs> is it really good? Have another sip. Let me see if you like it. What do you think? Amazing? So good? <laughs> All right, well, good? there we go. Okay. Should I try one? What should yeah, I you try? should try one. I, I think lemon I lime. I love the lemon lime. lime. I, I think like I'm do a lemon lime. Yeah, do you like lemon lime? Try that and just see. Okay, here we go. And. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. <laughs> 
Actually, was amazing. Actually, you can like feel the line. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what literally said. what he said, and I was like, oh, you're making fun of. Me. I was like, that was the weirdest way to say it, but like it hits you, you feel it. I am a little surprised that it's very flavorful for having 20 calories. Yes, that was the thing that blew me. I was like, okay, if it's gonna be like, because I hate knocking yeah. Gatorade so hard, but like Gatorade just doesn't have a powerful flavor. Good. Neither does Powerade. Somehow they have packed flavor into this Dang. without calories. I don't know and how they did. The, it. Well, this is cool. It has coconut water in it, BCAAs, yeah. which help with recovery for your muscles. Okay, all right. Antioxidants. I mean, the dude did fight. The part is like, Mayweather. You cannot <laughs> find them. Yeah, so it's like, a little bit hard right now. I think it went maybe a little better than they expected when they released it and it kind of yeah, sold out immediately. I would totally stop and grab a couple of these. I'd get it by the case, know? put it down in the theater in that fridge down there, stock them here. This is really good. I, think I this was is just be the new watching thing. you guys have fun. Now I kind of got a little curious and they are better than I pictured. So. Isn't it better than you expected? <laughs> And there you guys, new model, new spokes model for Prime Energy. It's not Prime Energy, Prime Sports. There's no energy in it, so you can calm down. Are you sure, Prime? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Take another oh, sip there, dude. Let's see what you got. Oh, wow. It's not primal, it's prime. Oh. Guys, the review is in, and the Bingham family, big fans of the Prime Sports drink. That does not mean we're gonna allow the kids to watch anything that they put out anytime soon. It is no. clearly not for kids, but we are drinking as Kool-Aid, I guess you could say. Oh, heck yeah. So, it is very good. In fact, it is going to pair perfectly with our meal tonight. The kids all picked a drink. They've got it out here. Mom's made a delicious roast. Crock pot yeah. and a roast. Who am I? Yeah, what is going on with here? Potatoes She's got the... and carrots and salad and rolls and cinnamon rolls. We got fancy plates out. It's an all out night tonight. Wednesday. Cinnamon rolls with loads of frosting. They're ginormous. Homemade frosting. Homemade frosting? Who are you, Mindy? I don't even know. I don't even recognize myself. <laughs> Before we eat, I've got to let you know. The Instagram post that we posted today, fielding your guesses for where we'll be headed on spring break. First of all, we heard that Hazy may or may not have mouthed it in the background. Did I hear that? That's what someone messaged. Don't say anything, Hazy. Mouth, mouth it is when you say it with your mouth, but you don't say it out loud. Did you do that about spring break? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So apparently, go back and watch it. She may have spoiled it. Kind of hilarious, but but I don't think everybody caught that. So we did have thousands of guesses, thousands of guesses on our Instagram post. And I will tell you right now, it was guessed correctly within the first 10 comments. Winner has not been notified. We're not putting it out there just yet. We will soon. But I did screenshot their account so that I have it saved and their response because they nailed it. One of the first 10 comments out of thousands nailed it immediately. We'll be sending out a little swag pack, a little bit of fun merch. Thank you guys for your participation in that. It was very fun to see a lot of the guesses. There were a lot of people who guessed it, a lot, a lot of people, but I do think that the people who did not get it gave us some great ideas for some other vacations that we could go on. So thank you. I'm going to keep that list of places and we'll probably just start trying to knock them off one by one. Thank you for that. All will be revealed in due time. We have something very fun coming up this weekend that starts tomorrow. We're going to be doing some fun stuff kind of here locally, but having a lot of fun, doing a little overnight or things like that. Make sure you're sticking around, hanging out with us for the duration because you never know what's going to happen at any given minute. Like mom could suddenly randomly pull out a Sunday dinner with all the fixes on a Wednesday. Wednesday. That's how insane we are here. <laughs> Finally got the kids into bed. As you can hear, Riley came home. He's shower. showering right now. Or else you can hear that, but for us, it's very loud. The Sounds water, like a water fall flowing through the, the house. He came home, went to the church for an activity tonight. Just got back in the shower and getting into bed. Other kids in bed. They seem yeah. very tired. We they watched a movie. They seem tired today. They seem very worn down at the end. So and it's I funny because today was a half day. So tomorrow we have one full day of school. Oh, guys, this is late breaking. The school announced that they're going to be doing an online Friday, yeah. which we do periodically. This one wasn't planned, so it is just all of a Did sudden. Did they trade one? It sounded like they moved one up. I don't know. Somewhere we read that, but I'm not sure exactly. Basically, we're going online on Friday, which means tomorrow is the beginning of the weekend, which is good because we have great big weekend plans that start tomorrow night. I know, I'm so excited. We did this last year. We went to the Alpen Globes up in Midway, Utah, and there are these beautiful little snow globes. We did it last year. We're gonna go back again. I think we said last time, though, the food maybe wasn't spot on. Here's the deal. We have heard from but. many that the food's fantastic. <laughs> we didn't have that experience, but we loved eating in the globe, so we're gonna go back and see if maybe we we're can- We're gonna give it a second Have chance. our image changed of, like, the food, yes. the cuisine, but yes. the vibe is next level. Like, you are in, it's not gonna be snowing because it just hasn't snowed. That was the idea is you're in a snow globe, but you're just it's in a fine. globe, it's a glass orb, and you eat in it. It's very fun. So yeah, we're gonna go do that really tomorrow pretty. night. Yeah, it's really pretty. So we're gonna go do that, and then This weekend we are doing some school. serious fun stuff, so I'm glad the kids are in online school because we're actually gonna be going just slightly out of town this weekend for some fun, not, not in the sun, but in the snow. Make sure we'll you guys stick around chilly. for that. We love you guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. We love you guys, we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna try tropical fresh and uh, tropical. Oh, can't even say that. And oh, <laughs> <delicious>. <laughs> take another oh, dip there, dude. Let's see what's <laughs>